This is the third video in solving trigonometric equations. This is also the seventh and eighth examples. So we're dropping the unit circle and we're getting exotic. Pulled up and exotic. What do I want to do when I have mixed trig functions? I want to get them all to be the same function. I'm just trying to function. So I rewrote that secant as 1 over the cosine then. I want to get rid of that denominator, so I'm going to clear my fractions by multiplying both sides by the cosine. The cosine gets in, and cosine over cosine is 1. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared, and then that's still equal to a minus 2 cosine. Now I want to get it all to one side and try to factor. So I add that cosine 2x to both sides, and when I do, I'm also going to rewrite that left side in descending order so that it looks familiar. Oh, yeah. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. We see if we can factor y squared plus 2y plus 1, it factors into y plus 1. Then the cosine squared plus 2 cosine x plus 1 also factors into cosine x plus 1 squared. Ah, that says the cosine of x plus 1 is equal to 0 if I take the square root of both sides. Whoa, whoa there. So then I... Put that one over there, and I inverse cosined it, and I found the only place where cosine is minus 1 in 0 to 2 pi is at pi, because I forgot to mention that they wanted their interval to be 0 to 2 pi. Box and flower. Let's go. What happens? Are these over here on 85 the same? No. Because that's the cosine of 2x is not the same as the cosine of x. What's next? We're still trying to get them all to be the same function. So I'm going to rewrite that using my double angle. And I wanted to keep it cosine. So I use the double angle 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And I just brought down that cosine. Now, I'm going to rewrite it in descending order so that it's familiar. What's up, fam? All right, so again, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. If you can factor 2 y squared plus y minus 1, then you can factor 2 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1. Yeah. Perfect square. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> how does that factor? Teach me how to factor. I try. So then, that's 2y minus 1 times y plus 1. If you don't believe me, check it! To multiply that out, see, it's the same thing. But what was my y? My y was the cosine x, so I'm going to just go stick that in there everywhere I see y. Then I'm going to set each one of those equal to zero. Just like that. I like that. Oh, working with the one on the left. You gotta go work, 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 work. I see that the cosine, well, could you slow down a little bit? <laughs> I add that one, divide that two, and I get the cosine of x is 1 half, and then where in 0 to 2 pi is the cosine 1 half? Oh, that's pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. I don't know what you want from me. Let's work on the one on the right. The cosine of x plus 1 turns into the cosine of x minus 1, and I saw that story already. That happens at pi. Now I'm going to package it in one nice tight package. Yeah. Does it have to be in order? No, because then that would be a post set. But I just like to COD it. I mean OCD it. Or alphabeticalized it. I'm done. <laughs>